Carolina Insider is presented by Wells Fargo. Boy, it's hard to believe Tyler Hansbro is almost 35 years old. Tyler Hansbro is 35 years old. Gracious, that's crazy to think about. Carolina's all-time leading scorer and rebounder. Also, of course, the 2009 national champion. He was national player of the year in 2008. Adam Lucas and I had a chance to catch up with Tyler recently, where he talked about, among other things, just feeling a little more comfortable in his own skin. Two years ago, my New Year's resolution, um, and I'll put it... Uh, politely is stop caring what other people think and uh that was a big deal for me because sometimes you know i was you know sometimes when you play especially uh basketball in college and i was such under i felt like i was on we were on tv all the time and i felt like you know there's these expectations that the media puts on you your close friends family and everything and then i just felt overwhelmed at times i had so many people tell me try to do different things and then finally, when I was just like, you know what, this is my life, so I'm going to do what I want. And if people don't like that, then, you know, they can live with it. But this is my decision. This is how I'm going to live. And it's not like, you know, I don't care what my parents think. It's not like I don't care what my brothers think. It was more like, why do I care what this guy is that's writing this news article that I've never met? Why do, why do I want to play for him or try to meet that expectation? And, uh, you know, so ever since then, it's been a big it's been a uh, it's been really good for me to have that mindset and I think uh, if I would have had this mindset early on in my playing days I think it would have been I would have been a much better, happier person uh, so what else is going on other than in your life right now what what's shaking uh, with me is uh, I've been playing in China the past few years um, and uh, I've really enjoyed it I'm getting a little older 35 now uh, I know it sounds crazy time flies <laughs> but uh, you know, I've been healthy enough uh, to continue to play basketball at this age. Um, I love China. I love the people. The country's been great. Basketball has been great over there. So it's been a great experience. I played in Gongzhou um, a few or three years ago, and then I played in Hongzhou uh, two years ago. And then last year I played in Sichuan, um, and I loved all three of the cities. One of my best friends from my hometown went out there with me my first year, uh, Ross Wellen, I called him and I told him, I was like, listen, once my NBA career is kind of like, you know, getting kind of questionable, I think China's a great place. It's got a good market, good basketball, and I think it's a place where I can go and play and and play some quality basketball and have some fun and make some money. And so I was like, but I don't want to go by myself, so be on standby <laughs> if you want to go. And this guy didn't even have a passport. And so <laughs> that was step one, getting Ross a passport. <laughs> and he comes from a town, we're a town of 17,000, and Gongzhou is a town of 17 million. And so when we went there, uh, we both loved it. We had a great time. Uh, basketball was, you know, for me personally, was great. I really enjoyed it and uh, had a great year. Never thought I would love China like I do. And um, so Ross actually 